What's up, YouTube? Just got back from Valdez, Alaska. Yes, it's true. I was just there. I uh, made an error in my video yesterday. So, like, kind of like you guys saw my in the middle uh, yesterday. What's going to happen on my channel is I'm putting from like very beginning to like the very end my what happened to me when I was in Valdez, Alaska. And like, you know, my pr thought process of when I'm actually working. Because that way, I, like, I, I was trying to make a video every single day. I skipped a few days, but for the most part, I think I got it. I think I got right like, the work. I think I got like all the work um, done. I'm trying to walk like six miles a day now. I, I got all like the work part in. Um, I also have like a little bit, like a, a little tours, a little, like one review, only one review. Because I, I was so fucking busy and I'm so damn tired. But if, if you're curious, and you just don't want to wait. I'm going to tell you now what I think about Sewer Bay. And honestly, I like it. I do. I really, really do. But I could not make it there. I had to quit. Those 16-hour days, it was just way too much. And, like, I, I tried staying positive. I tried staying motivated. I just could not stay in that work environment. And I'm happy I quit because after I got home... Even though I took like a week off from Alaska, I mean, even though I took like I quit and I had like to stay there for about like five days, my legs were still extremely in pain. My arms were in pain, my hands were in pain. The work I did was like so physically exhausting that I have no question of a doubt if I would have kept working, I would have hurt myself and I wouldn't be able to work anymore. Also, everyone got like so sick that there was a point where people were just like if they didn't show up to work it was automatically oh they're just sick and apparently that doesn't happen every year there wasn't that much discrimination everyone says there was I don't think it's discrimination I think that was just a language barrier the pay when I, I'm not going to lie like I, I don't like Peter Pan I don't like how they treat you but I got paid a lot better in Peter Pan than I did at Sewer Bay, and it's crazy because I was working 16 hour shifts over at uh, Sewer Bay, and at Peter Pan, I was only doing 12s. So, to me, that was just fucking crazy because I felt like the work I was doing was not worth in any way my paycheck. If you guys can decide, give me a minute, street cleaner, but you guys can decide for yourself if you think you can do it or not. I could not, unfortunately. But it was an experience for sure. I definitely love Valdez. I would just go there just to see Valdez. Valdez, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, let me switch hands. My arms are still fucking tired. And it's been like two weeks since I've been there, too. It's fucking crazy. Um, but I, I love Valdez. Made some good friends. I was actually trying to like keep to myself. Because there was like a lot of fucking drama at the last place I went, so I'm trying to keep to myself, I'm not trying to get into drama like I did at Peter Pan. Because like I said, people are gonna just start, start talking shit just to talk shit. Turn left on the South Summer Tree and it's lane. fucking annoying. And people are also gonna be extremely fucking stupid because they only slept like four or five hours a day. But guys, my videos, every, every, it's gonna be like every Friday now for the next two, three months. And then, I don't know, we're gonna see what happens with life. But I'm still gonna to try to make money. I'm still trying to, you know, get on the grind. But if you wanna see like what the job's about, I'm gonna describe the jobs in my videos. I'm gonna describe my work ethic, um, what's going on, how tired I am. So if you guys wanna see that, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff, please. Subscribe, I'm trying to get to 600 subscribers. I'll see you guys next time. Love you, fam.